there's this study that people always look at, uh, supposedly only look at art for like 10 seconds. So you, you're like looking at an exhibition, if you're walking around an exhibition, the average viewer will stop at a painting and look at it for 10 seconds. And whenever I heard that, I was like, ooh, I wanna make it so they have to look at it longer than that. I'm Caitlin Swift. I'm an artist based out of Tucson, Arizona, and um, I work primarily in drawing and painting, but I also experiment in metal, um, clay, collage, <laughs> anything that I feel like on any particular day. <laughs> Most of my work is self-portraits, just because I think self-portraits make things kind of personal, I think. A lot of the historical ones are, are more based off of that, but I think most of my work is probably personal, yeah. I'm mostly focused on women um, throughout history. Women are used to like represent different things, and it just really fascinates me. For instance, there's women that, you know, are like, you know, in nature, and it's like talking about mother nature. And, there's the bathtub, which is really interesting. And you can look back at our art history and you can see there's there's a lot of like women sitting beside the tub or women sitting on the bed with like towels and stuff like that, like they've just bathed. And for some reason, I've been really, really fascinated about that one because bathing was like dirty back then. So women who had to bathe a lot were often prostitutes. So most of those paintings are suggesting that those women were prostitutes. Some of them have um, text in them. This is a poem. The poem I wrote at midnight one night. It like came to my brain. Sometimes poems just pop in my head when I'm about to fall asleep for some reason. So of course I gotta get up and write them down. And um, it's about how like my creativity, I, I, I don't know if this is really accurate, but it's, it's trying to deconstruct it. Um, it's like how creativity kind of controls you rather than you controlling your creativity. If I can get to the point where I'm a studio artist and I get signed to a gallery and I'm making money from that, then I would totally, that's like number one. But being a professor is also something that I was just like, this is a perfect thing for me. I love teaching people stuff. I love sharing what I can do. And that's a way that I can be an artist and have a stable income. <laughs> My mom, she was a photographer and she uh, she still is pretty pretty creative, honestly. She's a very creative person. But um, she was a photographer and she was at the U of A for photography. And then she got chicken, chicken, you know, got scared <laughs> because of the, you know, thing that everyone, every artist has happened, um, which is, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I can't make money, ah. So she dropped her photography degree and went into nutrition. She never did any, anything past college, so it's like my goal now. I'm like, no, we're doing it. We're gonna have at least one creative that makes it. I'm Caitlin Swift. I'm an artist based out of Tucson, Arizona. 